I might be able to do this with my weight pushing down into my toes, but that doesn't mean that I can achieve the same thing with my muscles pulling my toes down. It's only half the distance. This is actually true of all of the joints in our body. These are just extreme examples. For simplicity, this is called active range of motion. I'm using my muscles to try and pull my arm to my shoulder. After relaxing the muscle, this is called passive range of motion, where an external force is taking the joint through its full range of motion. Active, passive. You can see that these two are very different from one another. Being able to close the gap between active and passive range of motion can help to reduce your risk of injury. Another way to look at this is that this is often referred to as flexibility training, whereas this is referred to as mobility training. I'm using my muscles to take the joint through the range. They both have their purpose, but if you can get your mobility work to look like your flexibility work, then you're on your way to looking like this guy. Enjoy the gains.